Welcome back, episode 55. This is gonna be, hopefully, a good episode. Okay, so this week's episode is mission, make my bus look more like a home. So, first thing, you guys know I did the walls here in the bathroom last week. They're not too bad, they're nice and white. Um, the seams though, need some help, obviously, so. We're gonna cover all the seams in and make it look really nice and fancy and good looking. The hookup for the propane, you guys know last week I installed the propane tank, completed. Cover in the wire ducts, get that done. That's gonna be a huge change for the aesthetics of the bus. Trim for underneath the kitchen, we wanna get that completed. The frame at least for this front piece of the ceiling. We want to try and get that completed. Let's get into it. First things first, I have this that I built um, last week, this little thing for here. Since this one is going right underneath the kitchen cabinets, I'm gonna put the polycrylic protective finish on here so I'm able to wipe it off when it gets dirty. With that first thing being checked off the list for the day, before I move on to the bathroom, I actually want to do this. So, you guys know this is peel and stick tile. We have this little exposed bit up top. So, I wanna trim that in with this wood so i think i'm gonna have to make some kind of interesting cuts to try and make it fit the curve but we're gonna give it a shot and see how it looks and hopefully we can get it looking pretty good all right i don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see this but i cut it into three pieces i did like a, literally a one degree cut and i did a 10 degree cut to make it match up in here but it fits perfectly. It fits really, really well. So I'm going to go ahead and sand these out and then I'm going to put the first coat of the polycrylic on. All right, you guys know the drill. I'm going to get the polycrylic first coat on all of these, but I'm not going to bore you. So I'll catch you when I'm back out here doing the PVC trim. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to turn this bathroom into a million bucks. Let's do it. Talked up all the seams, all the cracks, and now it's like, you can't even tell, man. It looks really, really good. Work on this wall next, that straight up piece that connects over here. Also, yeah, I'm probably gonna have to touch that up. I got some of that red guard on the ceiling. All right, so I got the strip cut from there and up top. The only problem is I really don't see the caulk holding that top piece in place for long enough until it dries. So what I'm thinking is I might use the Loctite tub surround construction glue that I used for everything else. Okay, so I just ran to the store. I got what I need, but first I'm gonna get the second coat of the polyacrylic on here and on here. guys so it's getting a little bit later I'm gonna wrap up here for the day made some really good progress um, I still have some of these pieces to do but I actually don't have enough uh, to finish anyway so I'm gonna have to go back to Home Depot tomorrow and then we'll be golden like it looks real I'm really happy with how it's turning out we got this done here we got this little bit done here and this whole top bit is done coming straight down the edge 
and then this whole bottom piece. Good progress for the day. Um, I am going to put the last coat of polycrylic on the other uh, molding for underneath the cabinet and then we can put that in tomorrow as well. So tomorrow things are going to be looking a little bit better. So, I had a little bit of time this morning. I actually gotta go right now. I have something else to do. But, I figured I had like 15 minutes, 10 minutes, so why not get these up and that guy up so it's one less thing to do later. So later, I'm gonna work on the shower, finishing it up. It's gonna get done today, this afternoon. Yeah, I'll catch you guys in a little bit. All right, it's much later in the day now, and it is a scorcher out. We're gonna get to work on the bathroom, but yeesh. It's hot out, dude. Let's do it. All right, so um, we did, we made some pretty good progress. We got that and that corner cut out. Um, I just, I'm gonna have to fill that in with caulk because the one back there is pretty tough because it's like slightly flexible and bendable. So getting the cut to the right size is hard. Um, so I'm just gonna fill in the seam with caulk. It's not really not too much of a seam. Um, and I need more glue to get this strip and that strip on. I have them cut out. I'm gonna run to the store. I'll be right back and I'll catch you when I'm finishing this off. Boom, check that out. Yes, sir. That looks good, man. I like that a lot. Woo! Looking real nice. It's looking sleek. Love it. I really do love it. Yeah. Figure out what I'm doing here with the top seam, and I still have to do this seam here but I'm waiting until I fix this here. So I think I'm gonna wrap it up here and I'll come back out here first thing tomorrow to finish it off. All right, so we're back out. It's uh, not the next day, it's the day after the next day. So today is Thursday. So yesterday uh, I had a bunch of other things to do. One of them I scheduled in this bus to go to the mechanic next week before I bring it up to Vermont. So when I bring it up to Vermont to get it inspected, it's gonna be a quick transaction. Basically it's gonna be like, goes in, gets inspected, we're good to go. The other thing was I started going to upholsters for this bench cushion here. So I'm gonna have two bench cushions, one on the thing and one backrest. Uh, no luck yet, unfortunately, but I'm hoping I'll have a little bit of luck Today, I'm gonna go this afternoon to another one. I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the bathroom caulking around all the seams and whatnot of the new pieces that I put in. We're all caulked up, so I just have a couple spots that still have to get done. Right here, this strip underneath, and that's about it. I also have to get this on, uh, and that's, yeah, yeah, honestly, I think that's about it. Check it out. All right, so it rained, and I also went to the upholster this afternoon, and it's a bus. That one is just not gonna work. I had a very weird experience. Um, he was an interesting guy, to say the least, so. 
Uh, yeah, that one's not going to work out. I'm going to have to keep searching, but for now, we're going to install the propane line and get that done. back inside and I'll uh, see you guys tomorrow when we work on the wiring duct and that front ceiling. All right, it is time to start our Friday work day. Today I got this Wayne Scott um, MDF board and it's actually already like pre-cut to the size I need besides for, you know, the length. This is what I'm gonna use to cover up the, uh, the wire duct in the bus. Let's head home. I think I made my decision. I think I'm gonna curve it into the ceiling. It looks really good if I have this full piece on here. Check it out, we got it. There we go. It's gonna need a little bit of touching up with paint because it got a little scuffed up from the saw, but yeah. I've been coming out here in the mornings and when I come out here in the morning, the LED strips underneath here, the color portion is turned on and the white and the color are on two separate switches, two separate frequencies. So we're not sure if it's because a neighbor has like a, the same frequency remote or whatever and it turns mine on or if there's the same frequency that's interfering with the inverter or something back here. But obviously we don't want that light turning on by itself while I'm on the road. So we're gonna put a switch onto the little receiver there. Um, so I can turn it off and on. I, I remembered I can't cover this back portion up until that switch is added, which isn't gonna be added today. Now, so what I'm gonna do is work on the ceiling, finally. This ugly eyesore. So uh, I'm not entirely too sure how I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna play around a little bit and see what I think is gonna work and look the best. Hmm. Okay, it's the next day. It's Saturday today. Oh, uh, yesterday I went in and I just started editing the video because I couldn't really figure this out and I still don't really know what I'm gonna do here. I did go to Home Depot. I got Wayne Scott uh, like panel B board. So I'm gonna try and see how that fits in here. So it's gonna be uh, a lot of tinkering, I think. But I really would like to try to get this paneling up. I don't know. Let's see what we can do. This is where I'm at. So I have one, two, three, four, and five there. I'm gonna go ahead and cut to match here. So it'll butt up here and go down. Just how this beam has this curve, it'll just go down to here.
All right, so I got this first panel up. It's screwed in. It actually looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. Cut the next piece to go here. Yeah, perfect. So, yeah. Right now it looks really bad. <laughs> and I know once, I think I think once the seams are covered, it's gonna be looking good. But right now it looks bad. Bad with a capital B. <laughs> I mean, the bathroom looked really awful too. I can't lie. Before I put all the molding, and now it looks awesome. So, yeah. This quarter round looks really good in there. Um, if I, as long as I can get it to make the bend the whole way, so the quarter round might work. I'm gonna wrap the video up here and I'll be back out here probably tomorrow or the next day to start on this ceiling again. I'm not even sure if I'm gonna keep it like this because I don't like it. So. But for right now, that is gonna wrap up this week's video. So we finished up the bathroom completely. We got the propane all hooked up. The kitchen is coming along nicely. We got the wire duct on. It's just the ceiling, man. And without further ado, guys, I'll see you next week. Peace.